Hi everybody, welcome back to Planet Arizona Comics. Happy August. I can't believe we're already into August. The month, I should say, the year is already 7 twelfths over, thankfully. What do we got going on outside today? Don't know if you can quite see that. There's a haze outside. Those aren't quite clouds. It's a haze. From what I understand, there's a fire going on in California, and the winds are pushing the smoke into the Phoenix area. So not only do we get hot and humid temperatures because of our monsoon, we're now we have a cloudy, hazy fog over us from a fire, too. Okay, sorry about no videos the last few weeks. We've been a bit busy. One of our dogs had to have emergency surgery last weekend, so we've been busy with that. Um, haven't done any digging, but I've got a video for you today of some mail calls and the last couple weeks of, uh, of new books. So I'll get right into the, right into the mail calls first because I got some good coming up in a couple books. Uh, this first one here, as you can see, is Sabrina, Something Wicked. Uh, this is number one. This is also the, uh, limited 300 Peach Momoko cover. Got that from across the pond. I believe this is a store exclusive to um, a store called Slab City Comics. Uh, a lot of S's in there, sorry. Next one is Ultimate Fallout Five. Uh, this was kind of a um, this was kind of a, a spur of the moment kind of thing. I saw it on on eBay, uh, sitting there at twenty five dollars. So it's a one, it's one of those one in twenty five Jervic uh, uh, covers for that whole series. You know, Ultimate Fallout Four, the 125 Jervic Miles Morales is just ungodly right now, and figured getting this for ratio 25 bucks isn't isn't a bad play. Um, Miles Morales is not in it. Uh, I've seen some uh, completed listings recently uh, touting it the second appearance of Miles Morales. It is definitely not the second appearance of Miles Morales. He is nowhere in this book. Um, and some of those books have been going for um, for over 50 bucks. So I thought at 25 bucks, you know, not a bad play. Something maybe one of the, uh, you know, if you have a, if you, you know, if you're fortunate enough to have one of those uh, 125 Jervic variants for number four, you might want to try to get the entire uh, set. So maybe this will bump up because of that. Who knows? Uh, next one up is a, a absolutely gorgeous cover for uh, Silver Surfer Black number five. Uh, this is the um, Scan variant, another store exclusive. Another store exclusive to, I believe, Sanctum Santorum Comics. Um, I don't know if the video does it justice, but there's just oh, there's just color and all these little nooks and crannies. That that's this is gorgeous. I'll give that up for a second. And. Oh. Thankfully, I was able to get this before the dog went into surgery because I don't know if I'd have money for this after that. Let's see if I get all this in there. This is, if you don't know by now, this is the cover for, or this is the entire book. This is a graded copy of Batman 251, classic, iconic Neil Adams cover, possibly the greatest Joker cover ever. I guess that's debatable. But I got it for a, a good price. Uh, there was one listed on eBay, uh, you know, blah, 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 buy it, uh, or best offer. And I, I shot him an offer, which I thought was fair, and, and the man accepted it. I'm very happy to have this. Kind of one, kind of don't believe I have it. It's been a, you know, 2020 has been a kind of a crappy year for everyone, but my, my collection is doing pretty good this year, probably because I'm not doing anything. Oh, you know what? Let me, leave the, let me leave this up while I go to new books. All right. Let's move you over here. Let's get you guys over here. Okay. So there have been three Wednesdays since the last time I saw you. I'm going to go back to not this week, but the previous weeks before that. We'll, we'll roll uh, this week's books into probably next week's video. Uh, I'm going to start you off with uh, another dynamite cover from alex ross for our uh, uh immortal hulk number 35 and we got it. amazing spider-man 44 the uh 
the Art Germ variant for Death Metal number two. This is, I guess, the first appearance of the guy who's going to become Robin King in the, the upcoming Dark Knights, or Legends of the Dark Knights Death Metal, something like that. So, into Nightwing 72. Like this whole lead up to uh, Joker War. Try to get as much of the tie-ins as I can, or as many of the tie-ins as I can. Uh, Once in Future number nine. There's been a you know a lot of people talking about something that's killing the children, uh, and some other books from Boom. But this Once in Future has been really steady, and Dan Mora, the artist, is really killing it on this. I mean, I don't think enough people are talking about this. This is a really good read, and something worth picking up if you haven't. Uh, new title from Dynamite Sacred Six. Huh? A lot of S's. Silver Surfer Black, Sacred Six. Uh, Sabrina Something Wicked. A lot of S's this, this week. Uh, got the A cover, the uh, J. Lee cover. Got the B cover. I think that's all I got from that one. Yes, because then we go into Daphne Byrne number six. Uh, I believe this is the final issue for the series. I'm not sure off the check on that, but I believe this is the final issue. Rick and Morty go to hell number two. Uh, so from three weeks ago, Venom 25, or three Wednesdays ago, I should say, Venom 25 had a nice wraparound cover, so I decided to get two of them. I don't think this will work too well, but if I back you out a little bit, you might be able to get that nice wraparound effect. I guess I'll show you my setup. You know, a lot of pe some people on YouTube show their setup and their equipment. My setup is the thing. That's my setup. I think that was a McDonald's Happy Meal toy from back when the first movie came out. Uh, did one little, went to the, not the new releases, but there's another wall at my shop, but you know, recent releases, and I picked up a copy of Turtles 101. This is the first appearance of Lita. So I think that's a good book to spec on and pick up on. Uh, and then we had a couple of free comic book day books. Um, X-Men uh, free comic book day. This is the lead into to um, lead into X of Swords. Kind of like this cover to uh, Overstreet Guide to Collecting. A nice uh, Billy Tucci, it's, uh, Yosagi Yojimbo cover. Uh, the Weirin books. I have no idea. It just looks kind of interesting. We got a. Uh, the free Spider-Man comic book day, which is the first appearance of Virus. Some people will tell you it's Venom 26, but I mean, if this is the first appearance of Virus in this, you know, the story of Virus, then this would be the first appearance, not this, or else we'd have this situation where, you know, you know, Secret Wars 8, even though, because, you know, it, it wasn't released on time and Marvel Team Up 141 or whatever came out before it, this is another one of that situations i mean this is the first appearance of virus in a story and then it goes into this so this has to be the first appearance of virus right so anyway uh venom 26 uh the first <laughs> first uh joker war book for batman 95 this is the matina cover i kind of like this it's got the flaming on fire bats can't Really cool cover from Matina. This is the regular A cover, which I like as well. So I picked that one up too. Uh, Wolverine number three. Dr. Aphra number two. New Mutants number 11. The Resistance number three. Book called Dual Identity from Absolute Comics. I have no idea what it's about, but I like the cover, so I picked it up. And finally... Canto and the Clockwork Fairies. Uh, it's a one-shot. There's no number. Uh, really good spec character. You know, someone, uh, if, if it's not Pixar, some other rival of Pixar, maybe DreamWorks will pick this title up and, and work it because it's uh, it's been highly, it, it was a highly uh, well-received series, and I unfortunately was not able to pick up any of them. Would like to. But um, picked up this one, and this is uh, going to pick him up from... Uh, from here on going so let me know what uh, you guys think um let me know what you guys are picking up and thank you for stopping by we'll see you next time